Our first ever venture into Green Power started in 2010, with the original school team purchasing a standard Green Power kit car to give us a head start into the season. At the start, we simply called it Bartholomew School, but over the time, it gradually became known as the Blue Car. The second car, built under the close guidance of Siemens, our main sponsor, qualified 43rd in the 2012 final, so we were really hopeful for the future, but that wasn't to be. And in the 2013 final, we came a disappointing 58th, one place behind the old car, which is immensely embarrassing, as it was meant to be significantly better than its predecessor. We made a team decision to hand the bathtub over to the old team and start from scratch on a brand new car. This time, we're building to win. We had our first proper new car meeting at the Paddy's house on the October 19th, 2013. There, we made a huge amount of progress and we agreed on many key points that would shape the design of our car. By the 21st, outline scale drawings have been made, along with virtual 3D models, to help us better visualise the design. We were ready to start going into the details, while still taking into account that our current designs may not be the final one, although the general feeling was that they were. On Monday 28th of October, we had our third meeting designing the car, and our second meeting out of school. It was pretty exciting when we finalised the designs of the car, because then we really felt as a group that we were well on our way to designing a really well-made professional car. Most of the drawings were made in the meetings by Tom, our new team manager, and they were mostly plan view or side view of the cars, which enabled us to get dimensions for the cardboard mock-up we were planning on building. The drawings enabled us to buy the card that which we were going to be using for building the cardboard mock-up, and also we could actually see what the car would look like aerodynamically and what it would look like when we had paint on it. After we'd all started designing the car, we decided that the new or the same team manager should be elected. The vote is for me, so I've taken on the role as new team manager for this season and I'm looking forward to some of the challenges I'll be faced with while I have this role. We've all had an active role in designing the car and have reached many agreements on all of the basics such as the shape, dimensions and some of the electronics. I've attended all of the meetings where I've been creating scale drawings from the final agreement and decisions. We've also won a Raspberry Pi through a Green Power competition, so I'm sure you'll find that incorporated into the car, whether it's through a telemetry module, inboard computer or a live feed camera. From the designs we've got on paper and the ideas discussed across the table, I must say, I think this car's going to be a pretty good one. I think this season's going to be the best so far. Recently, Green Power released new regulations for the 2014 season. This was a problem because we were originally designing our car for the 2013 season. The difference is, there'll be now two different 90 minute long races with no battery changes. This is both good and bad. The good point is that we will not need to get our batteries out and have many battery changes. The bad point is that we were designing our car to be stronger and faster than it needed to be. Being still in the design phase is very helpful for our car. Other cars that were designed for the old regulations will find it more difficult to do well in the new regulations. But because we are only in the design phase, we will only have to change a few factors to get maximum efficiency out of our car.